you can see it is a drop frame folding e-bike mechanism right there with a suspension seat saddle no rear suspension rear rack which feels solid and it is actually part of the bike it's not bolted on front suspension Ugh. cable disc brakes let's check those out now a stand which isn't adjustable but it works fine and as you can see in general as a package it's very nice looking indeed i think i love these white walled with red insert tires well the wheels the red bit the tires got the white wall they're not fat tires they're a bit fatter than usual three inches thick as opposed to your usual four inch for the fat tires it's got front and rear lights which you turn on by holding down the plus button there we go turn them off again no buzzer just a bell pretty standard bell and the motor's 250 watts or is it well kind of it's got a controller that apparently puts out 15 amps the 48 volt battery multiplied by 15 is closer to 750 so it probably peaks a lot higher obviously than 250 but they've managed to class it as 250 but one sport have locked it down to a fully legal 15.5 25 kilometers per hour and i think that's what they're going for they want to go for the fully legal bike so they say it's 250 watts they don't let it go over 15.5 i went into the computer usually you can go to a setting and increase the speed limit you can't now i've actually done legal aspect of this bike is the throttle or rather that it comes with the throttle not on and therefore without the throttle it is fully legal you're not ever going to get into trouble on this bike that being said how fast could it go if you're really really trying if this is the kind of bike you'd want to take on holiday maybe to the beach in your caravan bung it in the rv you would want to see how well it folds down so let's have a go so a little lever here undo that now it doesn't come straight out because you've got to lift it up and then it will fold fold it round get rid of the stand it's got a little piece of metal down there like they usually do and then the another lever here on the handlebars and again you've got to push it because it's locked in and then the handlebars fold down and obviously if you want you can push the seat down like that the battery is fully removable and you need a key to actually use the bike at the moment the key is in the on position the key is not removable and we have power put the key in the off position the key is removable and you won't get any power coming from the computer so if it's locked up with the battery no one's going to take it away with power from the bike then one more twist which you have to push to turn makes the locking mechanism come undone which allows you to lift out the battery first pull the little lever under the saddle push the saddle forward and pull it out the battery 17 amp hours giving a range they reckon 120 kilometers the 48 volts 17 amp hours equates to as written here 816 watt hours which is very good it's very good for this bike especially when you consider this bike is about 800 euros which is less than 700 pounds now there might be delivery on top of that because of blooming brexit but that is a damn good price for what you're getting top tip if you just kind of shove this in like that it won't go all the way down and you'll be thinking what what's going on it's all broken but there's a little runner here which has to go within the battery so make sure it goes around there then it'll go in perfectly seat down locked in locked in now the pedals aren't foldable that's not the end of the world there seem to be pretty nice pedals some it is nice when you got a folder bike that you can fold the pedals as well but it does end up with slightly weaker pedals so it depends what you want really but overall it's a very very nice e-bike i was quite impressed there's many pros there's a few cons as we saw in the brake test the one brake wasn't fully adjusted but you could adjust that easy and they'd be absolutely fine great grip from the tires i love the look i love the white walls the the saddle really comfortable it's got the rear rack to add utility 
folds down nice. It's got this thing at the front, which means you could put a front basket on if you wanted to. The color screen is very nice. Hard to see in direct sunlight, like really bright sunlight like it was earlier, but generally it's okay and you'll be able to see how fast you're going. The suspension saddle is nice, so considering there is no rear suspension, that, as well as the nice sprung saddle, takes a lot of the bumps away from your bum. Cons, I'd like the front suspension, as always, to be adjustable. It's a shame that it's not unlockable because you can tell it's a quick bike. It accelerates quite well. Let's check out that acceleration. It's not a motorbike, but it's all right. It goes over grass easy, it goes through mud and stuff like that. Powers through, it just doesn't get over 15.5. And for whatever reason, when you go over 15.5, the computer doesn't tell you what speed you're going, it just stops at 15.5. But I think most people won't really care about that, throttle or not, because it does feel good with the throttle. In fact, I would recommend you put the throttle on. I know they're slightly illegal at the moment in the UK and the EU, but hopefully they're gonna be legalized soon.